Hey guys, welcome to Two Rail Fans. I figured a fun Monday project would be get this Union Pacific caboose on the rails that Jesse sent us as part of his uh, giveaway. And I did find the other trucks had popped out, or the other uh, wheel set had popped out during uh, shipping. But I think what I'm going to do here, I'm just, we tend to use the KD whisker couplers. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in a couple of those. And I have these metal wheel sets uh, sitting around. I'm also going to use these. So I'm going to go ahead and get these couplers swapped out. And we're going to get these uh, wheel sets changed. And then we're going to get this running behind our Union Pacific uh, locomotive. All right, this spins pretty well. Get the other one in. Always faster off camera. See that's spinning pretty freely there. Alright, so what I found with these, you get the cover on, and you just lift up slightly from the front. Should be able to get that to slide into place. That's the easiest way for me to do it, at least. It looks like we've got the whiskers in there properly, so I'm going to go ahead and get the screw in. like we're in business. So I'm going to go ahead and get this on the track and we'll, we'll check out the uh, coupler height gauge and see how it looks. All right guys there it is on the track. You can see the coupler height gauge. Uh, everything looks really good so no need to make any adjustments there. So we're going to go ahead and put this behind our Union Pacific locomotive and take it for a test run. Alright guys, so last part of this run, I figured it would, it would be fitting to put the Union Pacific caboose behind the uh, Union Pacific gondolas that we have. I know Jesse wouldn't approve of empty gondolas, so I did put some old uh, wheel sets in there. I do have a pipe load already for one of them. I'm not sure where that is at the moment. But it makes me realize we do need some more Union Pacific rolling stock. Uh, we got this. Uh, this uh, diesel was our first uh, DCC engine. Uh, I did buy it used. It's a Broadway Limited, uh, and it was a good price. That's why we bought it. And I know some people say, "Well, you can't. You shouldn't run a caboose behind that, or that's the wrong caboose." Uh, honestly, we do not care. We just run what we want. So anyway, let's give this a run, and that will be it for today. Thank you guys for watching.